Hi, I'm Martin. And hi, I'm Fran. And we live on Narrowboat Moonshine. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Back in the bathroom. Um, yeah, I haven't done anything since the last video, so you've not missed anything. Um, yeah, I've still got I've still got to take all these shower boards off yet. Uh, Fran's up with me, by the way, for those missing Fran already. She'll be here later, but I've got a bit of a. She's off to her daughter's, leaving me to have fun in the bathroom. Anyway, um, right, yes, I've still got stuff to do behind these shower boards. They've still got to come off. Um, connects all the wall, gulp gul pump and all that sort of stuff, waste things. But just had the sh just opened the shower cubicle box. Some of the pieces you can see here. I had a bit of a panic actually, it says 17.50 high on the box, I'm like, that's not what I ordered, I ordered 1700, I, it, that was the only one I could ever find, so I had a bit of a panic, does it fit, yes, it does fit, um, so yeah, looking at the instructions, I need a drill, a sealant gun, tape measure and a spirit level, not sure spirit level is going to help me on this occasion, so hence that's why I'm just trying to not even, not even a dry fit, even less than that tapey uppy fit, make sure everything works because if you ever built a boat, um, spirit level doesn't work, uh, it's, it's hard to get everything square to each other really, it's really quite difficult. Um, so I want to make sure that this quadrant is not like sitting out like this, that the shower just ain't going to fit. If I need to do anything to the woodwork behind either side, I can do that now. If I bond these panels on, I'm screwed. So, so that's what I'm up to at the moment uh, before taking all this out and looking at the boards and getting everything done that way. Um, I've, I've figured out, and with some help from some of you guys, about cutting the shower tray at the bottom. I've got some proper, proper sealant strip for that along the bottom. The corner looks a bit interesting, so let's get to that later. Uh, but right now, I just want to see if it's possible to fit this cubicle or shower quadrant with the uprights I have. Just bear with me. I'm going to screw this frame together on the bed and see if I can bring it in. Uh, I'm worried about breaking it on the tile. So give me a second. I'll be back. <laughs> well, <laughs> sort of there, I think. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, I think that's gonna. I think that's gonna work. That's gonna work, I think. Um, yeah, I forgot because. Uh, I've got to recess that shower tray in under the shower board down there. So this will come out 10mm. I was just a bit concerned that the shower, the rim of the shower tray, shower screen, was a bit near the back. But of course, when I put 10mm either side, because I recessed that in, that'll be fine. So yeah, I was just having a bit of a wobble then for a minute. But uh, no, there you go. Um, that will work. Height's just about right. And that's why I went for this shower tray, this shower cubicle, because of the height. Should be 1700, but it says 1750 on the box. But if it was 1750, I know it would not fit, so it must be 1700, just the box is wrong. Well, it'll have to stay there now. It's a bit dodgy moving that around. Working on the boat. <laughs> it should be okay, I think. It looks well supported, so the glass is supported. No strain on anything, I don't think. But yeah, you turn the whole boat upside down when you're. Um, not literally. Not literally. <laughs> but yeah, so right, um, get that shower tray aside now um get that shower rail off and the mixer tab get all that off and i can look at uh the gulp of pump and the waste all right let's look at this waste um i cut off the this there's, there's another, another bit there the first smaller hose so i'll cut that off don't need that although it doesn't actually provide any restriction there but anyway so um the new pipe i got which was the 7 8 
so that now is absolutely perfect and I've got two Jubilee clips going on here as well so we'll get to that in a minute but in the meantime uh, this is the waste tray this takes me down to the hose that I want um, and then you clamp you basically clamp this down I think there's a ceiling ring there and stuff and there's a little waste bucket and things but anyway enough of that uh, again this these are places are hard to get to when everything's in place so I don't like that too much but I will do as much as I possibly can to um, to make sure that that's absolutely sealed and there's no there's a little bit of hard stuff in there you see how guy stops talking when he's doing something because he can't do two things at once that's what Yep, so that's that, the hose will go on there, two Jubilee clips. And that should do that. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you guys have been watching our, our travel channel, Fan of March Travels, in all sorts of, all over the place, really. Um, yeah, I just wondered how many of, I think a few of you actually come over to start watching some of those videos, which is nice. Um, we are well, back at work, so there's a new there's a new video now on uh, Now Boat Electrician again on YouTube. That's there now. Uh, don't need that. This is the bit that sque squeezes in. Yeah, it'd be good to see you guys over there as well. All Now Boaty stuff. Right, I just need to check, but I think the O-ring sits underneath, and I'll do the same thing there. Silicon underneath, silicon on top. Screw it down as tight as I possibly can. There must be a tool for that. Yeah, you plumbers will probably know about it. I don't. There must be a tool for that so you can really get that, really get that squashed in. Hmm, I need to think about that. I think I need to cut a piece of timber or something that will go in there as like a key, so it allows me to turn it. Well, let me have a look at that. See what I'll come back to you. Yeah, bit of scrap timber. I'm glad I noticed that before I put all the sealant on it because it might have been a bit difficult to. Well, it would have been a bit difficult to tighten up. I think if I cut something like that out, that should allow me to. Sort of turn out a bit like winding a clock, really. That, that, that'll work. Maybe. That seems to work. I'll just, just smooth them edges off a little bit. Just a smear on the underside the seal on the top. Let's go and see if that fits, shall we? Well, I want this uh, pointing towards the front there. So I have cleaned the I have cleaned that space above and below. Key works. Oh, Mark, you just you just blow me away sometimes. I actually wouldn't have been able to do it without that. That's it. I could turn that up a little bit actually. We go. I might just put some around there as well. May as well. Only here once. I mean, here under the shower once. Well, I'm not. I'm let. I'm let that uh, go off before I start uh, putting anything, any stress on it. There'll probably be a bit of water here, but I'll mop it up. 
should be a lot actually. I'm using a better tool as well this time. And not be gripped. Or I don't start to get this board, get the trim cut, top and bottom, or top. Um, get the board cut around the shower tray. That's going to be challenging that is. I've really got to think about that. Um, but it's not that far away, I don't think. I should get this done. Both fans away for a few days, so I think I'd better get it done by then. Might be a pub break in it if I, uh, if I get it done earlier. You never know, you never know. Can you get that fan or just on my knees? Well done. Well done. Shame t-shirt because this one of the best ones. Right. right, I've just put that back. Um, connected the hose up to the waist. I'm going to put some water on here now. Uh, why would you want to do that? Um, I can't level it up with a spirit level. The boat does all sorts of things. But I want to sort of see where the water is when the boat's sort of at rest, when nobody's walking around. Just in case I need to tweak that a little bit. Yeah, she's off. Leave, <laughs> leave me to it. I've got babysit. Babysit, yeah. Babysitting duties. <laughs> Better day to, well, the sun's at the house at the moment, which is quite nice. It's going to be cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be cold. Um, but I'm going to be uh, mostly in here all day. I really want to get this pushed through today, and there's still a few head scratches to do, and that waist pump location is definitely one of them. Cutting these seals is a bit of a pain in the backside. Uh, and I've got to cut the trim for the top of there and all that sort of stuff. So step by step, I think that's the way to do it. Right, let's get some water in there and just see how that sits with, I say, the boat just moving around as normal. I'm sure you can see that actually. But the water's slightly favouring the the drain, just slightly, with the boat at rest. If it was a, at rest as a boat could be. And just see it slightly over. Right, I'll have a bit of cereal. <coughs> and now I've got to get that water back out of there. <laughs> but I've got to do it. I've got to check it. Right, uh, I've cut that bit out, allowing for the 10 mil uh, push, um, push in, if that's the right word. Um, because I've had to think about this quite a lot actually. Um, there's probably a better way of doing this. In the confines of a boat, I can't lay it down, I can't get measures, I can't get levels or anything like that, not very easily. So um, what I'm doing, the way I'm doing it is I'm cutting the, the board out so the tray fits in place, number one. Then I need to mark where the shower cubicle is gonna be where that's going to rest on the on the quadrant. Then I'll, I'll have to cut the board again so I can fit the ceiling strip and the ceiling strip goes behind the board and I've got to put battens there because there's no battens for that. So yeah, there's about 25 things I'm having to think about making sure I don't make that one cut. I can't just cut the board off because when I, when I put the shower screen up, I'm going to have a nasty end right there. So a nasty end, oh, we don't, or oh, terrible end. We don't want them. Um, so yes, anyway, that's what I'm doing. I've cut that one board, I'm just gonna cut this one. Then that'll hopefully let me put the tray in place where it is actually going to be. And then I can look at the, the screen. Anyway, let's just do it and then you can see it, I guess. It is the confines that make working on a boat that much harder than I think your normal domestic, even though I know bathrooms aren't particularly big. <laughs> obviously a, again a rough cut here because that won't be the final that won't be the final cut <sighs> just keep on top of this plasticky stuff as well because everywhere walk, walk through the boat goes everywhere
right, that's sort of step one. It's recessed now under the board. Uh, it'd be nice if I could just silicon that. I'm sorely tempted to, but I have got the proper seal kit. But the proper seal kit gives me a lot of issues. Your bathroom fitters must be laughing your backsides off with this. <laughs> it's, I don't find it easy at all. I don't find it easy. Right. Um, so I've just trimmed a bit of that... Uh, trim <laughs> um took the, the tag off the back i'm going to use that as uh, to go in fact let me just show you it's easy oh, it wouldn't help if the pen actually did something there's a few marks there but not enough Carrying on, <laughs> of course. Um, the, these are the support feet that just sit. I think they're a bit longer, actually. Yeah, they are just a touch sooner than those. Right, that's them there. Well, I've got a little bit more access to it. I'll screw a little smear of uh, sealant as well before I screw the uh, coupler on. And you can see down here, the pump sitting under there quite nicely, where I can get to it at a later date. Uh, I've got to fill this in obviously when I'm done. Right, a lot. Right, I can sit. I did it again! <laughs> I can sit there quite happily. Not easy to get to, but it is get to a ball, which we like. Right, just I said right again. <laughs> um, I'm just going to cut this. Uh, this skirt that goes around the shower, I don't need it just yet, but it's, it's, it's going to be quite hard to cut and measure once the shower's in. So I've cut, I'm cutting this the same size as the shower tray, I might need to trim it back down a bit later. So... Protectors, they do make a little bit of a difference. You look a bit of a dick, but anyway. Oh. <laughs> right, one more of those to do. Yeah, make sure it's ringing here. Um, one more of those to do, and then I can I can scream into the timber below. <laughs> I do look stupid, but never mind. <laughs> Trimmed all the uh, that seal now, and the and the upright seal as well. So that's got to be all bonded in. Uh, there's quite. I've got the I've got the destructions. Let me just say, um, what company is it? Um, I did see it somewhere. Uh, 
So this is Sea Lux. So it's uh, the only seal that's uh, recommended for all these trims. I think it's uh, Sea Lux Transsea Hydro Halt. Anyway, easier to show you that. Oh God, that'd be good with some coke in it. So there's a bead along that shower tray. Then it's you fill this channel. Morning, folks. Uh, what do normal people do on a Sunday morning? Anyway, uh, first things first, let's get some bacon on, shall we? Um, and second cup of coffee, where's that fool gone, that is? Uh, yeah, so yeah, got a lot done yesterday. Um, been filming might have been a little bit, let's say spasmodic. It's quite, quite a lot of things to think about. But um, I'm sort of happy with what, what, what I got done yesterday. So I'm hoping that uh, to this morning, um, I'll be able to press on and maybe get... Uh, I'd, I'd like all the cubicle finish to be fair. All the cubicle, everything's sealed up and, and whatever. So, um, and obviously the water supply back on. Uh, check the gulper pump. God, that's thick bacon, wow. Um, get the, uh, I need to order a switch for the gulper pump, uh, so that might not um, get permanently wired today. I'm sure I'm Jack. Can't do two things at once, obviously. Um, yeah, get all that buttoned in. Uh, I think I'm okay. I think things think I shouldn't say anything just in case, but things have gone quite well. I'm really happy with that seal on there. That looks like the proper job that does, so I'll um, I'll just show you that uh, just before I start. So all this is sealed around here now, which looks pretty good actually. I think it's a proper seal that is. That's uh, that's really going to do the job. Yeah, something like that. So I can still see that connector, but it's just neatened that up a little bit. Really hard to see that once the uh, shower's on. Right, all those uh, um, boards are on now, glued on. This stuff, ah, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a nightmare actually. That, but I've got it in. There's still all the ceiling, the bits and pieces left to do, um, but the boards are actually all bonded in now. Um, yeah, that's been a bit of a nightmare, that is. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't enjoyed that at all. Bit of a blob of silicon on these shower rail holes, just in case any of that decides to try and creep out. That one has. Hi guys, another day. Uh, but getting this finished today, no doubt. Getting this finished. Um, so yeah, it's, some of it's sealing, tidying up and stuff, so it shouldn't take very long. Oh, I've got all the pumping. in. You brought me up at half past six this morning. Yeah, let's get going. So um, yeah, I'm just putting this uh, wall bracket on. That should be enough to seal most of those. Screw in that second. Right, moving on. Uh, so the frame sealed on the bottom, the edges strips up, sealed up the sides. So all that's done. So there's just some little self tappers to go uh, between this rail on the inside, this outer rail, and the frame itself to keep that in place. So it only needs two or three screws. They're little self tappers. 
semua so what they give you with these uh, kits I don't know if you can see that. Oh. Have a look at this. Still got that drills done. Can you see that? No way you can. Bent, twisted. Just rubbish stuff. Cheap and horrible. I don't know. That seems to be the same. Okay, so there's this one. Goes on. Turn on. Uh, Turn just, on there. I'll come back to that. I need to get the other two strips because I'm bleeding somewhere. No surprise after this week. I've cuts everywhere, look. <laughs> Where the rings dug in. Life of now a boat electrician. I need just enough head height for me. Yeah. You're going to have to duck to get under the shower, eh? Oh, that's <laughs> You tighten yourself, don't you? You tell me. Yeah, there's an hole here. I'm just in an hole. Is there? Go on. <laughs> I'm sure I just... I thought I was just in an hole. Oh, there's one on that one. Oh, did you see an hole somewhere? There's one on the bottom one. <laughs> it's just so you can do that, look. Just so you can... you got something to leave on. Ah, uh, OK. It's not, there's no grub screw in there. No. Yay! Nearly there. Happy? Ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get the engine on the other door. See if they touch in the middle. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. I hope so. Turn a bloody eye. Glass door number two. Your boat's on the move today. Mm -hmm. Bit better weather, any? Yeah. Considering we had biblical rain all night. With that. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I, was, I, was, I was concerned. Mm. Right, so I need the magnetic strip. But no, it's still in over there, I think. Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> I was worried about that that being square because I got no, I can't square it up. I was really, I was really quite concerned about that. And yet it sits perfect, so. Perfect. Sports a bit of a tear to me on that. <laughs> My new shower. Perfect. Love it. Happy with that? I am. I best, to get in. <laughs> I best while the gold pop up then, hadn't I? Yeah. Yeah, still a bit of cleaning to do, but uh, it looks pretty good, we think. I just fell over. And it just fell over. I did tell her to move the vacuum, and she had a strop on her, and didn't move the vacuum, then fell over it. Did you not? Yeah. We'll get painful. So, yeah. pump wired up. Um, gulp pump pumps to the wastewater overboard. Check all for any leaks down there. Shouldn't be any, hopefully. Get the water on. Let the silicon go off a little bit longer. And, um, yeah, we can... Uh, I'll, I'll, then I'll be able to say, I've finished okay. the shower. <laughs> Show looks nice and it's a bit cleaner. Yeah, I've just got to the glass, but I don't want to touch it. Until no, and the silicon's still got to go off yet. Yeah, when all that's done for. I've office. just run the cables all the way back to the uh, breaker box. So this is the these are the switch cables here. Um, the live well, I've just put a knot in it. The negative's already down on the pump, which is down there. Uh, 
Okay, so um, you can get these uh, blanks. Um, I often use these and I might put USBs in them or uh, switches or anything. It just makes them look a bit more professional and, give, and gives you something to actually screw the screws. Screw the screw to? Hmm. Screw the screw um, to. Screw the screw to. Um, I'm going to just put a light switch in for now because uh, I, I haven't ordered the, the DC switch. Now, there's a reason you can't use these. Well, you can. It'll work for a bit. It won't work for very long, especially on a pump because every time you switch the pump off so it's under load, you'll get a great big spark on these and it'll just burn the contacts up. So even though that might want a single, would be quite nice there, it wouldn't last five minutes. So... Um, I'm just going to throw one of them on for now so we can just use it. But I'm going to get a proper DC switch, fix it into this blank plate, and then replace that later. That's the explanation on that one. Uh, screwdriver. There's no leaks. Socks as well. No, no, they're, they're fine, not there. It ain't going anywhere. I just want to make sure that um, the pump can empty that tray and keep it empty so you can see it's filling up. So I know that the pump is pumping faster than the water going in the tray. Yeah. Because it's emptied it and keeping up with it. It's completely dry. Yeah, no water there at all. Win-win. One happy boy. Yeah, uh, well, I've won the cables. You've, you've probably seen that the cables are ex haven't gone out of sheath on. Um, I have got to order some split conduit just to go on the outside of those cables, just to protect them where they run into the down the bedroom and stuff. So. I think there's a gap in the curtain. <laughs> I'll get shot. Uh, yeah, the doors um, in between the bathroom and our bedroom, the walk-in bathroom. Um, that's that's probably next really big job. But I need to find a joiner to help me out with those because I can't make doors. That's at, at my skill range. So um, right, okay. So uh, if she's happy, then we'll call it a day, shall we? And uh, oh, are you okay there? <laughs> it's a win. Right, see you next time guys, thanks for watching, give them whatever there is, and uh, see you next time.